What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tubi Crypto here. Now, Terra Luna Classic and USTC have once again been on a rampage, but why? The big question, and we talked about it the other night on my video, is are we going to see further upside moves? Well, I might just have an answer for you in this video. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn that notification bell on, and if you're bullish on Monk, smash that like button. That's how I know that you enjoy the content. With that being said, let's take a look at exactly what is going on in the global cryptocurrency market right now. So 1.65 trillion just about half a percent up coming out of the weekend is a good place to be bitcoin about 43.7 now we did touch 44.2 earlier has pulled back a little bit likewise with ethereum but the good news as we come down there you can see there's a lot of green a lot of green in the last hour and as we continue down the list into the top 50 and just outside of it we actually get to the 57th highest ranked cryptocurrency right now 12.7 percent on the day at 1989 is the current price of terra luna classic look at the volume 467 million with a 1.1 billion dollar market cap now why why are we seeing such a rally once again well we all talked about this pullback it had a 250 percent move in the last couple of weeks so it was always due to have a cooling off what is even more exciting though is we are starting to see these further pairings over on binance start to pick up some significant volume so you can see they're just under 32 million dollars on the lunk try pairing on binance now we haven't officially had any announcements of whether that will form part of the burn mechanism but what we can say is the fact that we're seeing significant volume coming through and if you look at the historical data just to give you an indication of what that looks like we we're in the hundreds of millions worth of dollars on the Terra Luna Classic volume every single day right now. And then when we get these bigger days, we do get a big spike in it. So I can expect the burn mechanism to be pretty big on this month. But what's everyone excited about? Well, we talked a little bit about this in my previous video. The paper job governance and the upgrade to 2.3 has been two major catalysts. Equally, we get articles like this, which is major news outlets talking about Terra Luna Classic. Now, if you've been around or been covering this the length of time I have, you know that these are few and far between. But what does it say? Well, Lunk has recently triggered the correction mode, which might be profitable opportunity to invest. As the RSI still holds above the midline at 65, there's a hope of a bullish comeback in the coming week. The bulls will attempt to reignite the upper momentum and send the price towards the key resistance at that 3.02a. And if they defend, 3.0126. The price point might provoke strong selling efforts from the bears. And that's kind of what we expected and ultimately, therefore, kind of what we saw over the last couple of days. But a very interesting bounce of the 618 fib gives us a definite movement to the upside. And we could even see this move in line with the market over the course of this week. Now, the other thing that's really driving momentum in the Luna ecosystem, and again, if you've been around for a while, you know the two things are fundamentally intrinsically linked Luna and Luna Classic, there is continuation of build outs on Terra Luna. Now you can see there, look, Enterprise Protocol, as well as many, many others. Astroport really starting to do something different with that $10 million worth of liquidity being injected into it. New Lunk and um, excuse me, new Luna pairings on URA. So again, these build outs of the entire ecosystem, the fact that we are linked back into TFL and through the Cosmos ecosystem has only driven our price up. Furthermore, we are starting to see very interesting proposals come through on commonwealth now these are obviously all about how we repeg how we support fundamentally the growth of terra luna classic whenever we have volume we in the past have made pretty shoddy decisions we either throw it all at some development team or some random burn proposal comes on but actually we're starting to see really interesting proposals that do need some thought and do need some requirements and equally are in the absolute excitement of decentralization what's this one well, this is the improve the DynCon. Now, the DynCon is ultimately the minimum commission mechanism that the validators get. Now, again, this decentralized aspect, we talk about pay per job that will be voted for by validators. There is no point having something that can be swayed by number of validators with huge voting power. We know all nodes, as an example, is one of the bigger ones. What this sets to do is ultimately set a neutral factor formula to prevent large validators from disproportionately benefiting, modify the formula to incorporate a scaling factor inversely proportional to the validator's total voting power or stake that ensures the larger validators face proportionally higher minimum commissions promoting fairness and then where it gets interesting is actually that they will be then filtered into the community pool and the oracle pool as well as the burns as well now interestingly with volume the burns will almost take care of themselves to a degree yes i know we've got 5.4 trillion dollars excuse me 5.4 trillion coins to burn but again, this is all these little bits that start to come into it. For ages, we sort of didn't have anything. We just anticipated and expected all these build-out and development teams were just going to fix it. Well, it turns out that isn't the case. And almost to the point where that isn't required, we actually haven't had any real team 
fundamentally running the chain now for probably the last couple of months and we probably had our best few months if not our best few weeks in the last few months as well so again very exciting that we start to see these proposals and ultimately therefore going to support the narrative around Luna Classic so what have we seen in terms of price action today well a significant move to the upside almost deleting the entire uh, pullback from yesterday hovering around that two is 12 percent here on the chart now what does that look like coming to the weeks we could even see this start to move as we see the shorter term emas starting to turn more and more bullish likewise the 100 and 200 about to cross which could give us another indication that we're about to see some further moves to the upside usdc doing exactly the same in fact doubling yesterday's downcline and now on an absolute move to the upside. So we could be in for a very interesting week, both for Terra Luna Classic and the overall cryptocurrency market. But I, for one, well, I'm pretty excited about what's going on. I think there's a ton of stuff being talked about. There's lots being built out with TFL, all of which can only support the narrative, both on Luna Classic and UST. So what do you think? What's your view? Do you think the repeg's coming soon? Do you think we're going up or down this week for Terra Luna Classic. I'm always interested to know your thoughts. And as ever, thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Let's get the word out. Terra Luna Classic is back. And you can see that both in terms of volume and price action. As ever, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.